Hey everyone, in today's video I want to talk a little bit about artistic style. What it is, why is it so sought after, and how I'm just beginning to find mine after all this time. Let's get started. Achieving a unique style seems to be one of the most sought after goals in illustration by what I'm seeing when I read comments, and I can relate to that since that includes me as well. The artists I look up to always seem to have such a defined art style that you can recognize their art instantly among the rest. That's what I was looking for. To that end, I tried to define my style by choosing how I was gonna draw continuing forward, but now that I look back, it actually made me regress a bit because I closed myself to learning outside of what I wanted my art to look like. I also stopped trying to learn other artists' style by recreating them because I was so scared of being exposed as a fraud and I wanted to be or original above all else. But guess what? Nothing is really new. When drawing from imagination, we still mix and match stuff from our memories to mold it into something new and original, but the building parts, they come from our experience. And it's exactly that kind of experience that you may be missing if you close yourself to other techniques like I did. It would be like trying to build a cool LEGO structure with only one type of large LEGO block. It's not gonna work. You'll need a lot of different LEGO blocks that complement each other to build something polished. I realized when I stopped copying other people's styles, I also stopped growing my art as much. And that was because to copy correctly, you have to analyze how that person most likely did it, and this part is crucial to progress. Breaking down other people's art to its bare components is in my opinion a good way to learn, while also having fun. It forces you to see how is the drawing structured. What's the point of view? What kind of perspective is used? Is there any mistake in it? How is the line work done? The coloring? Is the level of rendering the same everywhere? Is it focused to draw in the eye somewhere? What kind of color palette is used? Is there a dominant color? All these questions are elements to the answer of why that piece of art got your attention in the first place, why it spoke to you in any way. You can imagine what kind of layers are used in the piece of someone, and it's a really good way to tinker in progress. I would add that it's also good to copy multiple people with different styles. You don't want to just become a copycat by imitating only one artist. By drawing and learning from different sources, mixing inspiration from artists and examples from real life, you'll create your own style. You need to analyze what you like and steal it like a pro. Use it to fuel your growth and incorporate it into your art, not make your art a copy of someone else's, but more like a melting pot of the pieces you like in everything. Mold everything into something that is you, something that represents what you want. And that's when you'll begin to see some consistency in your art, because then it'll reflect you as a person. It's not gonna come out quickly, but I just recently started noticing trends in my drawings, a consistency started building among the different pieces I work on. It's only when I stop worrying about style, took the time to do some basic exercises to nail down the basics that I'm finally starting to see my style appear. So my advice if you're seeking your style but don't see it appearing anytime soon, stop worrying so goddamn much about it and just have some fun. Draw stuff you like while practicing at the same time, practice while having fun, whatever, but don't block yourself and you'll get it eventually. Style and character comes out naturally as your art matures and takes in all your experience, just like a good wine. Not that I drink wine anyway, but it seemed like a decent analogy. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for me. Bye guys, and keep creating.